Welcome back everyone, I'm Joe the Long Warrior, and today I'm going to be talking about the new standard, in my opinion, what's the best backpack sprayer for the average DIYer and homeowner. So let's get started. If you're tired of the hose end sprayers just like this one, I have a great option for you. It's an affordable backpack sprayer and it's a great company. The backpack sprayer is called the SprayMate. So SprayMate obviously makes this backpack sprayer right here in front of you. This is a four gallon backpack sprayer. It has two speeds. It has a low speed at 40 PSI and it has a, an, a top speed of 60 PSI. It's very easy to control. There's a toggle right on the, on the right side of the sprayer. So all you have to do is switch up or down to the lower setting or the higher setting and you're good to go. So obviously this is the Spray Mate backpack sprayer right here. This is the four gallon Tornado backpack sprayer. It's listed at $149.99. You heard that right, $149.99. Now let me let you in in a little secret about these backpack sprayers. Most of these backpack sprayers are usually manufactured or developed in China. Uh, usually they come over and then basically these companies usually put their name on them. Uh, I believe this is the same as well. Uh, this backpack sprayer I was able to find on Alibaba and a lot of those other competitor ones out there as well can be found on Alibaba as well. There's a big one out there right now. It's a very popular uh, fertilizer brand with the DIY community. Their initials are YM. Um, their backpack sprayer is listed at almost $300. Yes, almost $300. It looks very similar to this one right here. And this one's only listed at $149.99. Plus shipping on both of them, it is plus shipping. Um, I'm just gonna let you know that. Obviously, there are some differences between the two. Um, the other one that I'm gonna be talking about, uh, that I'm talking about, the competitor of the Spray Mate, they do have a stainless steel wand. They don't have the uh, traditional handle sprayer like here. They have, it almost looks like a, um, you would use for a power washer uh, nozzle. Um, but it's very similar to this one. Uh, the PSI on that one goes up to 90. Um, I don't, in my opinion, I don't need it to go up to 90. I think 60 PSI is strong enough and I'll demonstrate that for you uh, later on. Um, but for $149.99 and if you're an average DIY or homeowner that I would say has less than probably 10,000 or even 20,000 square feet of lawn, um, this is your way to go. I have 6,000 square feet. Um, in my house, uh, that's my lawn area front and back at my house about 6,000 square feet um, And this does I mean this does an awesome job. It doesn't lose pressure. I mean it sucks the liquids bone dry um, I did do a video earlier in the year comparing this to another brand as well um, It's not the one that I'm talking about now with the initials with the YM um, but this does very well and I'm gonna go into more detail about the sprayer now. So obviously this is a four gallon tank. Um, it's very easy to see. They have the marks right here on the tank right here all the way up to four gallon at the top. So obviously four gallon tank, you can cover about 4,000 square feet. Um, so that's typically what I've seen is about four gallons covers about 4,000 square feet. So obviously if you have over four gallon or over uh, 4,000 square feet, you will have to fill this up again. But what's so great about backpack sprayers, uh, as opposed to those hose ends options, you don't have to worry about any hose management. You don't have to worry about getting your hose out and dragging it through your yard. You throw everything in here with water and all your mixtures, and all you gotta do is fill it up and spray. And then depending on what kind of application you're doing, whether it's a soil application that's gotta get down to the soil, or a uh, foliar application where it's gotta sit on the leaf blade, um, all you have to do is water it in depending on the application. Um, it's very, it's so much easier to use backpack sprayers than hose end options. Um, it's, it's so, backpack sprayers, especially if you have a larger area. Um, and I would say even my house, 6,000 square feet, it is a pretty big area. Um, this is the way to go. Um, so like I said, I'll leave links to the spray mate down in the description below. So you can go and check it out in more detail. They also do sell a uh, two and a half gallon as well. Um, that version is called the Storm. Um, it is retailed uh, for a little, it's obviously less than the $149.99 right here for the uh, Tornado uh, Spray Mate four gallon version. 
So if you do have, say, even a smaller yard than, say, you know, 2,000 square feet, and you just want a, a little uh, back, backpack sprayer, they do sell a two and a half gallon. So with the backpack sprayer, it's gonna come out of the box pretty much uh, fully assembled. The hose will be at, uh, assembled to the side of the sprayer here. The only thing you'll have to uh, assemble is the wand itself and the handle, the actual uh, uh, trigger right here. Um, and it does come with two different tips. It comes with a fan nozzle tip and it also comes with an adjustable cone nozzle tip. Uh, the cone nozzle is a, it, it is stainless steel. Um, and the other uh, fan tip nozzle, it seems like it's like almost like a plastic. It almost looks like a T-Jet style fan nozzle, um, but I'm gonna go in more detail about the different tips uh, later on. So one of the great things about this backpack sprayer is the way it charges. Um, it's very easy to do. It has a, its own little compartment back here. It shuts, um, it's all waterproof. So there's gonna be, you can't get any water in here. The battery is safe. But if you wanna go and charge the battery, all you gotta do is open up the door and then all you have to do is take out the battery just like this. Um, it actually does say flow zone on the battery. And the reason being is, is that the, per, the parent company of SprayMate is actually flow zone. Um, so it's a uh, flow zone. A lot of professionals use out there, out there right now use their uh, brand of backpack sprayer. Um, this is just a DIY version, I would say. Um, it's probably a little bit lesser than the, the professional flow zone backpack sprayers. Um, but this one, like I've been talking about all, all throughout this beginning of this video right now, is it's, it's adequate for your average DIYer or homeowner, obviously. Um, that's why I'm praising this one so much, and I want to show you guys why this one, you can save a lot of money going with this version as opposed to those other brand versions, um, especially the one that begins with a Y and an M. Um, so this back uh, battery right here, all you have to do, you take it out, um, you have a, a plug, you just plug this into your wall and then all you have to do is obviously just plug that right into your battery and then you can just sit it and let it charge. That's what I like about this battery. It can come out. You ha it has its own charger that's separate so you don't have to plug anything directly into the backpack sprayer. So once it gets done charging, all you have to do is unplug it and then all you have to do is throw it right back in where that door's at and shut it. So the charge time on this battery, if it's fully drained, is about two hours, is what they say on their website. And for the runtime for this battery is about two and a half hours. And there are a lot of videos out there with other people that have done reviews on this. And one in particular, uh, he did a, a whole review on it and he tested the battery and it was about two and a half hours. Um, so I think that's more than adequate enough for your average DIYer or homeowner that has a lawn, I would say, you know, anywhere between, you know, 30,000 square feet or less. I mean, you shouldn't be spraying two and a half hours worth of liquid out in your yard. Um, and I'll sh explain why, because you, you really do need to calibrate your sprayer once you get it. Um, it's very easy to do, but I'll show you more detail about that later. So let's talk about the back now, or the rest of the back, since I got it turned around, let's talk about the straps. The straps are nice and thick. Uh, they are two position points for them. You can uh, change them however you want, whatever's more comfortable for you. There's a top position right here on both sides you can clip it to, and then there's one right here as well. Uh, for me, it's just more comfortable here. Um, you do have a nice strap right here in the middle, so if you want it strapped across your chest for more support, you can. Um, I really like that. These things, believe me, they do get heavy. Uh, especially if they're filled all the way up to the four gallon mark, they are very heavy. So it's really key to have a nice backpack, uh, you know, strap right here, a nice thick strap. Um, I know that was a little bit of a con on the other uh, particular brand that I'm talking about, the uh, brand that begins with a wine and an M. Uh, that brand, there has been a lot of, you know, talk about the straps. I believe they were supposed to be fixing it. I don't know if they have or not, um, but these straps are very nice and thick. Um, and the back part here, it's a nice pad, padded uh, back part right here. So it does sit on your back um, in a pretty good position. Um, but these straps are very key to have as nice and thick and comfortable on you. Because like I said, it does tend, it is going to be heavy on your back. So again, I'm just going to show you the, uh, the toggle right here, the switch to do the, the different PSIs. I did uh, misspoke earlier. I believe I did say it was 40 PSI. Actually, the lower version is 45 PSI, which is just the single uh, line right here. So you just switch it to the 45, you switch it back into the middle to shut it off, 
and then the double line here you just press that and it goes through the 60 psi and like i said i think 60 psi is adequate enough for any uh average homeowner um, i always usually leave it at the 60 psi um it's stronger it pumps faster so you're spraying more liquid uh, at a faster rate you're getting more out and you're getting done faster so let's talk about the spray one assembly next so when you get your backpack sprayer right out of the box you're going to have to definitely assemble the spray one attachment here the holder uh, it's very easy to do it's just a couple screws and a couple bolts uh, it's very easy to do i recommend you put it in it, it, it really does keep your wand nice and sturdy it keeps a nice five foot pvc hose out of the way so it's really easy to store your backpack sprayer so what i'm going to do i'm going to take off the wand now it is a carbon fiber wand um, obviously the competitor the one i've been talking about today it is a stainless steel wand and honestly i believe this just does as well and it's just as adequate as that stainless steel one um, obviously you do have your traditional uh, handle right here the other one I was talking about earlier does have a uh, it almost looks like a power washer style handle but honestly this just does as well um, you know you're gonna be just mostly spraying liquids out in your yard um, so you shouldn't really need uh, you know that heavy duty heavy duty nozzle in my opinion this one works just as well um, you will have to assemble the wand to the handle to the hose when you get it um, they do give you teflon tape so i do recommend you put the teflon tape on um, i haven't had any leaks or any clogs throughout this wand through the season i've been using this probably for about three or four months now i've been using liquids like air 8 and air 8 is a rather uh, thicker uh, a biostimulant or a, a liquid and i haven't had any clogs any leaks uh nothing um so I, this this wand is more than adequate enough for your average uh, DIYer. And another great thing about SprayMate is a lot of these parts that are on here, like the wand, or the handle, or the hose, or even the lid right here, you can get all these replacement parts right on their website, and that's so great. Um, the backpack sprayer does come with a one-year warranty, which is awesome. Um, and the, their customer service is top-notch. They always get back to me on any questions I have. Um, but having that replacement part uh, and having that inventory, which a lot of these sprayer uh, companies don't have, it's so awesome. Um, you know, it's so great to just go on our website and say you, you lose the lid, God forbid if you lose the lid, which you shouldn't, but if you did, you could go right on there and order it. Say the wand, you stepped on the wand and you broke it by accident, or you lose the wand, or you lose a tip, or anything just go right on their website uh the battery you know if you you need another battery you know and you want to have one that's you know charged and ready to go because you you know you're going to use uh, you know over that two and a half hour uh spray time and you want another battery you can go on their website and you can order one um it's so great having that ability to get those replacement parts right on their website and one of the last things that i'll talk about with the sprayer is the nozzles and the competitor is marketing that their uh, brand or that their backpack sprayer comes with T-Jet nozzles already for you so you don't have to go out there and order them. Well, let me tell you something. These nozzles are really cheap. There's a great website called sprayerdepot.com. I'll leave it linked in the video description below. And let me tell you, these nozzles are extremely cheap. The fan nozzle right here, the red one, it's only $5.37. Yes, you heard that right, $5.37. And the blue one, it's $10.15. That is the T-Jet Floodjet nozzle. So obviously the red one here is a more of a fan miss. Um, it's more for foliar applications like with iron or you know uh, weed control, things like that. So only for $5, I mean, you can't beat that. And the Floodjet nozzle, which is great for like uh, products like RGS or Air 8, or humic 12 things that got to get down into the soil it is a stainless steel tip um, and for only 10 bucks i highly suggest you buy the sprayer and you get the tips yourself because let me tell you this sprayer right here it's very easy to put these tips right on here with no extra connections so let me come into the picture now so to show you how easy it is to assemble these t-jet nozzles right on the spray mate with no extra parts all you're going to do is unscrew your top here there is going to be a washer down in there. All you're going to have to do is push out the T-Jet nozzle. You have your washer. All you're going to do is throw your stainless steel. This is the flood jet one. You're going to throw it right into the 
the end there you're going to put your washer right down in there and have it sit as flush as you can and then all you have to do is screw it back on the end of the spray mate wand right here and you're good to go no extra parts no quick connects nothing all you have to do is unscrew it and all you have to do is switch your tips out for whatever one you want you either want the flood jet or the uh the fan tip and all you have to do is screw it back on make sure you have that washer on and you're not going to have any leaks so if you don't like the spray tips that come with the spray mate you can easily go on sprayerdepot.com and get these two flood jet and fan nozzle tips right here um i'm not paid to say that they did not pay me to say that i found these tips myself um, because I wanted to get the T-Jet nozzle myself for the spray mate here. Um, I just really like working with, especially with the stainless steel one. Um, I mostly do uh, soil applications, you know, things like RGS and Air 8. Um, I will be spray spraying out some liquid iron later in the season for my Halloween domination. Um, but I've tried both tips on here and I haven't had any problems. And I'll show you in a second why I say I haven't had any problems. So I highly recommend... I know that the other competitor is marketing that they, these tips come right with the backpack sprayer in their package, but believe me, if you want to save a lot of money, all you have to do is go on sprayerdepot.com, 10 bucks and five bucks, you can't beat that, it comes right to your house. You don't need any more connections uh, for your uh, wand that comes with the spray mate. These fit right on there and you could save yourself a lot of money. So for this next part, I just wanted to demonstrate the flow ability of the flood jet nozzle. On the spray mate right here, I have it up to the 60 PSI toggle switch on the side. Um, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna turn it on so you guys can see. And as you can see here, the droplets are nice and big with that stainless steel tip right there, the flood jet nozzle. It's coming out really strong. There's no leaks right here at the tip. Uh, so it's, I mean, it's coming out really great. Um, and this is what you want for a soil application. You want those bigger droplets so that the water can get down into the soil. Um, and that's what you want to see bigger droplets so it can get down in the soil so it's performing really well again no leaks no problems pretty solid so what i'm going to do next is, is i'm going to take off the flood jet nozzle i'm going to switch it out with the fan tip nozzle right here this is again the t-jet uh, nozzle that you can get on sprayerdepot.com it is the fan tip nozzle and again i'm going to show you how easy it is to take off the flood jet and switch it out with the fan tip so let me show you And there you go. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna show you the spray ability with the fan tip nozzle in here. Again, I have it at the 60 PSI uh, mark for the, P the, for the pressure. So let me turn it on. And as you can see, nice fine mist. This is what you wanna see when you do have a fan tip nozzle on there. There's no leaks at the tip again. And this is perfect, again, for foliar applications. And as you can see here, it has no problem spraying it out. So the last thing that I want to demonstrate with the spray mate is the suction ability. I've talked about it in probably just about every video that I've used the spray mate in this year. It sucks liquids a bone dry. I mean, there's very little liquid left and that's what you want in a backpack sprayer. You want a powerful pump and this pump is adequate enough to spray out any kind of liquid that you want. I've used Air 8, RGS, I've used the spoon juice, um, I've used liquid iron. It sprays everything out completely strong, no clogs and it leaves very little liquid left. So what I'm gonna do now is I switched out the flood jet nozzle or from the fan tip to the flood jet again. I have about a, about a gallon probably left of water in the tank. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna speed up the video, but I'm gonna show you how much is left after I spray out the, the remainder of this tank right here. So let me get started. So that's it. I would say there's pretty much nothing left in there. And this was filled up to about the gallon mark and I've obviously filled it all the way up to a four gallon mark before. And every time I'm left with that little bit right there. So as you can see here, the suction ability on the spray mate, it is awesome. I mean, you could see there, there was pretty much nothing left in this tank right here. 
um, and that's what you want in a backpack sprayer. You want a powerful pump. You want to get all that liquid out. You don't want to waste any money because you spent a lot of money on that liquid that's going in here. You want a powerful pump, and then that's what you got here in the spray mate. Just a quick tip, when you do get your sprayer, what I suggest you do is fill it up completely with water and try out the different nozzles in your yard so you get an idea of what kind of pace you're going to need to spray out liquids in your yard. So again, just fill it up with water. It's not going to hurt anything, and just spray it out so you get an idea of what kind of pace you need. So the reason why I wanted to make today's video is I want to try and save people money. I'm just an average DIYer and homeowner and I think the spray mate here is adequate enough for any DIYer or average homeowner. Like I said, the competitor that begins with a Y and an M, their backpack sprayer is a little bit different. They're trying to market that everything comes with it. But like I showed you here today, you can easily go on sprayerdepot.com and get the nozzles yourself. You could save yourself money and you can just get them shipped right to your house. You sh I showed you how cheap they are. So I highly recommend you try out sprayerdepot.com. I'm not paid to say that. I found that website myself and I got the nozzle sent right to my house. And obviously the competitors sprayer, it is a little bit different. They do have a stainless steel wand. They do have a different kind of handle here. Obviously their PSI goes up to 90, but I think the 60 PSI is adequate enough for any DIYer or homeowner out there. And you could save yourself a lot of money going with the spray mate priced at $149.99. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave product links below to sprayerdepot.com to the two nozzles I talked about today, the flood jet and obviously the fan tip. And I'll leave a link as well to the spray mate uh, ba backpack sprayer right here. This is obviously the tornado. This is the four gallon unit. So that's pretty much it for today, guys. If you have any uh, questions or concerns, comment below and I will get back to you. If you have any you know, questions about the sprayer that I didn't go into more detail with, uh, please comment below and I will get back to you. And like always guys, if you found today's content helpful or if you enjoyed this kind of content, make sure you smash that like button. It really does help out with the channel. It helps people to find my videos. It helps people find this video in particular. So please smash that like button. And again, like always, I'll see you in the next one. If you're interested in seeing the day four germination results I saw at my house with the Mountain View seed I used this year, check out the video right here in the end screen. And if you're interested in learning how to edge better in your lawn and around your house, check out the other video right here in the end screen. And if you're new, hit that subscribe button right there in the middle and I'll see you in the next one.